Welcome to the AACS Daily News for November 25th, 2015. Tomorrow morning, you can begin your Thanksgiving Day by turning here for a live broadcast of the big football game between the Attleboro High School Bombardiers and the North Attleboro Red Rocketeers. Our audio broadcast will begin at 9.30 here at AACS and on WARA 1320 AM. Listeners can also tune in online at WARARadio.com. Video of the game will be replayed on AACS TV at 3 p.m. and at 8 p.m. For many years, the city of Attleboro has provided veterans with transportation to VA hospitals in the surrounding area. Drivers must be certified in order to assist passengers who require wheelchair service, and the Veterans Department recently held a training. To learn more about the service and the event, we spoke with Director of Veterans Services, Ken Batticher. We've got a really great program where uh, when veterans uh, in Attleboro need access to the VA medical facilities uh, in Providence, in Brockton, or in Boston, uh, they just call us up, they let us know uh, when their appointment is, and we've got uh, a host of volunteer drivers who will go and pick them up at their house, concierge style, take them to the doctor's appointment, wait, them, uh, wait for them there at the hospital, and then bring them back home. So it's a really great program. We're really proud to offer it here at the city of Attleboro. But one of the things that we're most concerned about is making sure that that happens safely. So we've worked with the Massachusetts Regional Transit Assistance Program, uh, MARTAP, uh, to make sure that our volunteers who come in and transport our veterans get ADA compliant training and they understand uh, what is required for using the accessible use lifts uh, to get our veterans to and from the hospitals safely. As part of their funding they receive 5310 funds from the federal government. As part of that they are required to make sure that their drivers are going to be able to safely transport these individuals who are using the service. So because the accessible lift is in place, there are some specific techniques that are required to make sure that the lift is used safely and that the passengers are secured once they're inside the vehicle to the floor of the vehicle so that in the event of an accident, they aren't going to get injured just like somebody in a regular seat is using a seat belt. So this training is to help the drivers acquire those skills of using the accessible lift correctly and to be able to do the securement inside the vehicle so that the passengers are safe while they're being transported. We've had incidents where somebody has taken a corner too, too, too tightly or too fast, somebody has stopped quickly, and the person in the mobility device has either tipped over or fallen out of the mobility device and gotten injured. So we want to make sure that none of those accidents happen because uh, we want to make sure that the individual is secured inside the vehicle correctly so that they stay in their seats in the event of some sort of change in, the, in driving. The, uh, we've got a couple of drivers who have been with us for a good long time uh, and we have had uh, quite a few new drivers come onto the system because demand has increased for this program because it's such a great program to take the, uh, our veterans to and from the medical facilities. So. Um, we have had to solicit additional drivers to come on board and with that we need to make sure that our drivers who uh, have been with us for a while are aware of any changes to the regulations and the new drivers also get trained. Communities from all over uh, southeastern Massachusetts have had the opportunity to participate in this training. We've got uh, Weymouth represented, we've got Mashpee, and the way that that works is MARTAP puts this up on their website to say, hey, the city of Attleboro is having some of our trainers come out, and um, if you're interested in participating in the training, just sign up and come on out and we'll be happy to train you. The Department of Transportation here in Massachusetts has hired us to come in and do these trainings to ensure that the um, drivers are able to do this task to proficiency, basically. So as part of that, once we do the classwork piece, which just ended, we're now going out onto the vehicles and we're actually going to test each driver by having them do an accessible lift and actually put the person inside the vehicle and do a securement in the mobility device. And we will test them on it. So we have a, a written test that we do to check off the, the needed um, pieces that are required for all of that. And if they, they pass that successfully, at the end of that, at the end of this course, they'll get a certificate saying that they are now certified to be able to safely transport people using an accessible lift and doing a securement. That's good for two years, and um, they have to get an, another course done at the end of the two years to keep those skills fresh. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.